Hey guys, Sammy, or you can call me Smeeha. Anyways, today we are going to be book reviewing The House by Simon Lennox. This story is about a couple in London. Their names are Jack and Sydney. Well, in the book, her name's abbreviated to Sid. Is it Side? I think it's Side if you're going to shorten your name to Sydney from side to just side <laughs> okay side yeah jack and side and they were surprised to give because they were house hunting and to look for a house they've been saving up for a very long time and if you're from the uk you'd know that housing in london is expensive and to their surprise they get a they get a landlord saying you know what take the house it's all yours and they were shocked, thinking, whoa, this landlord just gave us a house and it's really expensive and we've only been able to save up for this amount of a deposit for it. And the story starts off with a strong start. They were really happy and hyped about the house. They were writing in journal entries, so in first person. And first is Jack saying his side of the story from his perspective on there's been some very creepy things happening in the house ever since they've moved in and Side also confirms this in the next following chapters and to me it kind of gives me the impression that there's a paranormal activity vibe here because it's a couple, a young couple in a house so obviously as a reader you might think okay something spooky is about to happen, what's happening and it also keeps on talking about this attic and it gets me as a reader thinking okay what is this attic about because of course you see it on the front cover there's a house it looks very really spooky and of course as a reader we get very drawn into a horror story well most readers do it was very clear to read you kind of know what's going on because first person and things like that but unfortunately as I was halfway into the novel I kind of felt like I was tricked into reading it because I felt as though the author couldn't make up his mind if he wants it to be a horror story or just a thriller of a crime happening because he kind of tricked the reader thinking it's a spooky story there's something haunted in the house that cliche of a couple moves in and some creepy things happen because I remember reading a passage on the book that side feels something that and it wasn't Jack touching her so I'm confused on the, what was that about it's like are you not gonna explain it was it a horror story is there some sort of spirit in the house or what I'm confused I found it melodramatic between Jack and side they have arguments and of course I want to know who I'm supposed to like support in the situation and am I meant to support Jack or Side because I find Side toxic and I find, find Jack being quite naive it kind of gave me the vibe of G -G Gone Girl of the girlfriend having something potentially to do with what's going on and as if she's gaslighting him in a way and I don't want to support someone who's a bit confusing in the relationship. Like, I don't know who I'm going to side with in this. Get a side. Side. <laughs> I'm not funny, okay? The book could have had a lot more potential. I want to know what is what, what was yours thinking? Come on, man. Just make up your mind. Is, if you're going to get me like a thriller crime story, then okay. But I don't really appreciate I wasn't really impressed with how he portrayed it as a spooky story it just felt kind of bland to me I was forcing myself to read it thinking okay just get this drama argument are you always cut the drama cut the arguments get to the chase already it didn't serve me much of an interest to continue it I mean yes I finished reading it but as in continuing it as in to be happy reading it because I feel like as a reader, if you're going to be excited for the story to end, then that means you're just not invested into it because I want to just hurry up and finish already because it felt like a drag. 
he also didn't know what he was writing about in some parts. Like, I guess the ending I wasn't that impressed with, so just like, okay, meh. I was expected to be like we horrified sleeping after this, but nope, I didn't get any such scared feeling whatsoever. I would have to give this a waiting out of let's say two and a half out of five stars. I think that's fair. It wasn't that extremely anxiety inducing because yes, you see a couple moving to the house, but there's no like panel activity going on. It's just made by humans so it's just like an average story and instead of this being a horror story it turned into a murder story someone's been murdered outside the house and the police are all over jack and side of who of investigating it that they could have had some something to do with this murder and yes the inspector in a way intimidated me so that was a good part sort of like writing it out it's like go on then of the inspector having come on words get out of having a d d demeanor of like okay just say it out then what are you gonna say where are you behind it come on finish your sentences so that was good acting from the inspector detective investigator you know and if yeah because if someone's been murdered and he pressures the home then you would be spooked out with the community of what kind of neighbourhood are you living in? You could be the next victim of being murdered. I don't want to say much because if I say some stuff, it's going to lead to spoilers. But I feel like it's up to you if you want to read it and give it a try. That's all I can pretty much say about it. I mean, what did, I mean, what did I take away from this? Well, I took away from this that housing in London is expensive. Thanks for clarifying that to me also. If, you, if you've read the house yourself then comment below or w what did you think of it do you agree with me or not what was your favorite part of it if you have a favorite part of the story what, what didn't you like about it make sure to give me a thumbs up if you <laughs> enjoyed the review if you found it helpful in, it in any way subscribe to me if you want to and i'll see you next time in another book review guys oh yeah lastly the characters i just felt like they were one dimensional so just not that interesting to me anyways yep goodbye everyone take care